Hey everybody, welcome back to MTG Killer Bees. Look at all this crazy stuff we got here. Look at all these boxes. Guilds of Ravnica. We got Sonic. Dominaria. Battle Bond. We got Iconic Masters. And yes, I think it's actually time to consider buying these. They're down to... You pick them up on eBay for $125 to $130 a box. And expected value on those boxes is like... 180. So, if you got the means, now's the time for Iconic Masters. Of course, the heavy hitter, Ultimate Masters. And then up there in the weird cardboard box, we got a box worth of packs of Shadows of Innistrad. So, all that is going to be coming down the road, but today, we're doing the big boy. Boom, there we are. Iconic Masters. Not yeah. Iconic Masters, Ultimate, Ultimate Masters. Sorry, everybody. It's ultimate. Did that actually cut? No, it did not. We should get a real knife instead of this old steak knife we have. But that's the shit Old knife. reliable. Yeah, that's the knife we use to cut open all the boxes. <laughs> and because Beekeeper wants to open some tonight. Oh, shit. Yes, yes. There it is. All right, let's, let's dig in. All right. You can use a little pull tab, remember. It's right. on the top. Because that will notch. Yeah. Yeah, actually, I've grown to like the notch. Grave Scrabbler is the foil. Okay. Wall of Reverence is the rare. All right, so not off to a great start. Yeah, on commons, in case anybody Nobody cares, cares about those. Right, fine. I got a Karn pack, though. Let's, let's see. Zombie. Ghoul Steed is the foil. There we go. And bridge from below. Hey. That's pretty good. All right. That's pretty cool. Elemental. Uh, I don't know where that pile is. Sultai Skullkeeper. Is the foil there. Okay. Urborg is the rare. <clears throat> it's gone way down in price. It's only about like 10 bucks now, but still great. All right. There. Ooh, is she going to show up? Come on, Lily. We haven't pulled one of her yet. Or, or a card. Nope. Pulled a Snapcaster and an Emrakul. Yeah, yeah, so you pulled a Snappy without me. Haha. Uh -huh. Homunculus. Just the wind. Oops, there we go. Visions from beyond. Eh, it's okay. Yeah. Citizen. Prey upon is the foil there. Phyrexian Altar. That's a pretty good one. And... Mm. Yeah. Hey. Sad creature had one man of any color. It's pretty good. Got one of your favorite uncommons, Kitchen Finks. <laughs> Ed, they're everybody's favorite. Everybody loves Kitchen Finks and Karn. Look at him. He's so stoic. He's like, Ooh, maybe I'll be in this pack. But probably not, sucker. All right, Drake, Sanitarium Skeleton, and Gamble. That's not bad. Old Urza Saga. Was it Saga or it's one of the Urza sets, I, I believe. I definitely don't remember. Who's 
Conviction. There's the foil there. Okay. And Tomb is the rare. Yeah, it's not bad. And Tomb's good. Search your library for a card, put it in your graveyard, and shuffle your library. It's an instant. So you can do all kinds of crazy graveyard recursion with that. And the cat is in the background. He thinks he wants to be in the video. Yeah. Oh, hi, sweetie. Okay, Spirit Token. Heap Dow. Ooh, First Mythic, Temporal Manipulation. Yeah. There it is. Good. All right. Ooh, I remember Golgari Thug. And they used to be worth something. Now they're not. <laughs> All right, we got a elemental, mad prophet, lord of extinction. <laughs> Another mythic, and it's just a mid-range one. Yeah, it's not a great one. It's it's okay. It would actually. It would go pretty good in my Lord Windgrace commander deck. Come on, let's see the see the big hitter. Come on, Karn, Lily, Snappy. Friggin' even I'd take a Mana Vault, even though they're only like 15, 20 bucks right now. Have we, did you pull one without me? Nope. Then we haven't pulled one, I don't think. A Crone Crusader. And... Fauna Shaman. Mm. Boo. Yep. She looks she looks cute, but not worth anything. Alright, we got a zombie token. Ooh. Foil Urborg. Hey. That's pretty oh. sweet. There we go. Another mythic. Oh, oh, yes. Oh. oh, yes, you guys. Look at that. Oh, my God, you guys. Look at the art. It's so cool. It's like ghosts reaching up out of the ground. That is an amazing card. Uh, we got we to gotta keep the momentum going. Oh, it's time okay. for the big boy. This is the reason the boxes are so expensive. And I'm going to open it. You got to open it last time. Fine. Ooh. I'm not gonna see it, so. Ooh. She can see it, I can't. Oh, what is it? Life from the Loam. That is pretty good. Look at the artwork. It's definitely fucking better than our. Oh my god. A stupid, what What was it, Fulminator Mage that we got? Yeah, Fulminator's okay. This is better. I'm not sure if this or Leovold of Trust is worth more. Those are the three I've gotten now. That is... You know, if you watch my other video about the artwork, I mean, I still stand by it. They were a little lazy with the art, but the foiling is amazing. It looks awesome. And look at that. Foiling is really good in this set. No curling on these. And that's also an added bonus. All right. I'll open another pack. So it went from being a mediocre box to a Cavern of Souls foil Urborg box, which is darn good. So we've gotten three Mythics, so it's unlikely that Lily or Connor are going to show up. But nope. If anybody watches Rudy, you will have seen him for one of his... Patrons, I believe he pulled, what was it, like two foil Three. caverns? No, it was a foil and two regular caverns. Okay. Go go check out Alpha Investments. Rudy, love you. Shielding packs, which I'm pretty sure... Did you buy this from him, too? No. Yay! Yes, I'm <laughs> sitting there bitching about <laughs> There's it. There's a full Minator Mage. For three, ma for three mana and he can destroy a non-basic land, that's not bad. All right, let's... Oh, look at that, Vengevine. Oh, what? Two hands? Uh, I can't remember if it was one or two, but yeah. That's technically a mythic. It's one of the weaker mythics in the set. Not the weakest, but 
ooze. All right, foil rare. Mm. It's a Maelstrom Pulse, but we'll take yeah, it. Yeah. It looks good. Ugh. Lava Claw reaches. Boo, you suck. You don't deserve to be in the ultimate set. <laughs> Fume spitter. <clears throat> These are foiler. Ooh, that, that looks cool actually. What the like the sky and the the little smoke plumes coming out of his back there. Rhea Donbringer. Alright. I mean she's not worth anything, but she's still cool. Mm. Look at that, we got three Lilianas. <laughs> Ooh. Room, so. Triple lilies. Lucky. Come on. It's like getting three cherries. Except these ones are a lot more attractive. Can't remember the name of the guy who drew Lily, but he is a genius. Anyway, elemental token. Yeah. This hey, is foil faithless looting. I'll take okay. that. Let's actually use that card. So having a foil one is cool. This is Look at that. Really yeah, that's that's clearly the best one. But look, I love the when you get a some kind of fire in a foil and you get that little sparkly action going on and golgari grave troll mm. when you get trolled good for dredge that's doesn't our, work that's our second one but not worth I, anything yeah, i pulled that on the first box in that spot Ugh. okay come on uh, lily or karn or yeah snappy. i'd be good with any of those. <laughs> we but we got a cavern. We, a we got a cavern. We did get the cavern, yeah. I believe the cavern is the second or third most expensive card in the set. Really? Yeah. It's, it's huh. friggin' amazing. Elemental Lotus Eye Mystics. Okay. Oh, this is, this is I love the art on this one because the lotus is like flash a little bit. They're cool. Sovereigns of Lost Alara. Meh. Which I believe we also pulled one of those during the first video as well. Yes, we did. But anyway, let's go. <laughs> the Cavern of Souls. This is another one of those cards. Okay, it's mythic. I get it. It's rare. When they first printed it, I don't believe it was mythic. I believe it was rare. I think that was before mythics. Who looked at this and thought this was a good idea? When it comes into play, choose a creature type. You can tap to add one mana of any color. Spend this mana only to cast a creature of the chosen type. And that spell can't be countered. What? <laughs> All right. Yeah. Somebody wanted an overpowered card and they got it through. I wonder how often the designers are just like, I'm going to I'm going to make something crazy and see if I can get it pushed through. Maybe that's what Noble Hierarch was. Somebody was just like, let's see if I can get this crap through. Spark Elemental. Hissing Iguanar? And Ruined Halo. We'll take that. All right. All right. Worm. Laboratory Maniac. As Oop. a foil. That's, That's good. It looks cool. I like that card. Uh, the Shoal. I believe we've all pulled yeah. one of those, too. <laughs> Nourishing Shoal. Counter Squall. <laughs> I just like that one. Because you like the name Squall. That's true, which is funny because I never made it more than like two hours through Final Fantasy VIII. I really wanted to like that game. <clears throat> it's bizarre. Yeah, I found that out later. Citizen. Ghoul Caller's Accomplice. And. Seismic Assault. Mm, yeah. Okay. Okay. We can deal with that. That's fine. All right, we got three vines. There's five packs left. Ooh. The final five. Anybody remember that? Battlestar Galactica fans out there? Yeah. Previously on Battlestar Galactica. This is like, you and Battlestar is like, spider patchwork gnomes as the uh, foil there. Okay. Creeping tar pit. Yeah, boo, <laughs> you suck. Are I'm you tempted to tear that one in half. No, no, you already tore my tree in half. You're not allowed to tear that one too. Your tree. 
Was that your box? I don't even remember. I think it was, actually. Oh, well. I owe you a tree of redemption. Ooh. Spider. Golgari Thug. Okay. Not bad. Let's see. Hey. All right. Glen Alendra Archmage. Yeah. Pretty good. Counter something and it's got Persist. You don't see it? Oh, yep. I don't think we've gotten one of those yet. <laughs> uh, I think I may have gotten one in the solo box opening. Okay. But still good. Let's went down to, what, three? Went down to three. Okay. Three more chances to pull. I'm going to call it pulling a Rudy. We, we haven't gotten old man Rudy yet. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we've gotten him at all, have no, we? No, I don't think so. Anger? These are good. I love this whole cycle where if it's in your graveyard, yeah, except the white one. The white one sucks, but <laughs> the other ones are good. <laughs> Through the breach. Yay, yes. Through the breach is awesome. I'm actually in the process of building a modern Gorio's Vengeance through the breach deck right now. Oh. It's gonna be good. It's gonna be hot. Like this Firewing Phoenix. <laughs> oh, the last lily pack. Look at her. Look at those eyes. She's just like compare. If you have the chance, compare Liliana of the Veil, the picture, the artwork to any of the other Lilianas, and there's no comparison. Not only is she the best mechanically, she's the best looking by far. Okay. She's got that crazy, seductive... Without looking too real yeah. or too cartoony? Yeah, anyway. but terribly dark at the same time. Soldier. Staunch-hearted warrior. And second to last pack. Hey, all right. Celestial Colony. Hey, there we go. That is my fourth one. I got a play set now. Huzzah! <laughs> Huzzah for the shopkeep. All right. A zombie. Ooh. Boneyard Worm. Ah, okay. Ooh. <laughs> Stupid stage. It's not actually a bad card, but compared to the other stuff in the set, whatever. Yeah, uh, yeah I mean... We didn't do too bad. Let's, no. uh, we're going to pause here, and we're going to scan. We're going to see what we got. All right, there we are. So we're back. These are all the cards that were worth more than $3. There are, what, 16 of them? I counted. 12, 30, 40, 50, 16, yes. So 16 cards out of 24 packs that are worth more than $3. That's not bad at all. And what, of course, the heavy hitters, Life from the Loam box topper was what? 86. And the Cavern of Souls? Was like 80-something, too? Or was it 60? 60, 60 I think it was 60-something. The Foil Urborg yeah. was, what, almost 20? Yeah. Yeah, of course. Celestial Colonnade is worth quite a bit. I was, Fauna Shaman is worth four bucks. I'm, that surprised the heck out of me. I'm, she's fairly common, so... Well, Mage was eight bucks, so. And so just scanning the rares, mythics, and the box topper, we got $320 worth of value, according to the TCG app, which is pretty darn good because I paid less than $300 for that box, so we made money. Yes. So if you can pick up Ultimate Masters for under $300, bucks, I would say go for it, and if you have the means, because... These boxes are just going to keep increasing in value. Right now, they're... Uh, there is no word of a reprint at this time, so... Yeah, the boxes, boxes are... are over $300 now. Yeah, average price on eBay is three twenty right now. So, if you can get a box, buy it. But, we'll see you guys next week for another opening. Until then, say bye, honeybee. Bye, honeybee. Those are some killer bees.